Hey guys, it's me Liv. I hope everyone is doing good out there. So today in my next card for the Use Your Collections Tamp of the Month series, I am going to be using this greeting farm set that's called Couple of Goals. Now, Greeting Farms had recently come out with a bunch of smaller images that are perfect for things like planners and such. I personally am not a planner, um, but I saw these ones and I thought they were adorable. But once I got them, I just really couldn't figure out exactly what to do with them. So I was deciding how I was going to use as many stamps as I could. And I came across an old video from Hero Arts. The artist is uh, Shireen Pelletier, and she did an interactive rotating wheel. Now, I have been seeing a lot of those um, iris cards from Lawn Fawn, and I thought, you know what? I think I could make a rotating wheel card out of these images because they are small enough. So let's give it a shot. Let's see if I can do it. When I started this card, I wasn't sure which images I wanted to use, so I figured let me pick four of them and go ahead and stamp them up. So I'm using my Memento ink, and you see here are the four images that I've decided to stamp up. So when I was thinking of the rotating wheel, I wanted to see which images will probably fit best in those little circles um, that I'm going to be using. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab some paper out of my stash to use for the card base. Can't say I remember what collection this is, but I just love this color scheme. So I'm taking my larger die, which I know is going to be the wheel on the inside, then my smaller die to figure out where should I space the hole. Next up, I'll just put it through my cuddle bug and get that taped on so I can make sure that my other hole matches perfectly. So now I've cut through the two pieces of paper and I've made my big wheel that's going to be going in the back. The original project actually had four images that they used, but it was much smaller and I realized that that was not going to work for me. I was probably only going to be able to fit two. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and color these with my Copic markers. I'm using the same exact color scheme for both of the images here in terms of the color and the skin. So I'm going to start with E00. Uh, E11 and E001 for the skin tones of these characters. For the hair, I'll list it below too. I used Y17, Y15, Y06, and then Y11. For the darker hair, I'm going to go ahead and use E27, E25, and E23. My goal was to have the outfits match with the color scheme on the color palette of the paper. So that is using R22, R21, and R20 to get that coral color. And for the green, I went ahead and just used one. Now since again, the sizing wasn't exactly right, this card really did try to defeat me, but I refused to give up. I figured I'm going to get at least two images um, go ahead and fussy cut it out and glue it onto that big wheel. Next up, I'm trying to find the center of the circle. Poke a hole in it so I can add the two layers. Put a back circle and use this as my brad. Foam tape so it can pop up a little bit. And try to get that hidden right there and get this mounted onto the card. I'm going to also use some foam tape from the side. Now, as for the side indent you saw on the front, I have a two inch, uh, actually a one inch circle punch that I use, and I just did half of it so I can get that little indent on the side to turn the wheel. Next up, adding that foam tape, as you see. So one mistake that I made when I got, did this is I couldn't exactly figure out how to keep the parts of the brads not showing. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue down my two images, make sure that they're evenly apart from each other, and have them so that they're centered in the circle when they spin to them. Since I did see some little bit of gaps on there, I'm using my art glitter glue, as well as some of my um, Tombow tape 
decided to put a heart in one other little gap and another heart in the other gap. Next, I decided to go ahead and put a flower there. That way I can hide that brad that I couldn't figure out on my first attempt on how to make this card. So uh, these are little birdie uh, flowers that I have in my stash. So I went ahead and put it there. I also have these sentiments in my stash that I purchased, added it to some foam tape. Then we're gonna put a little heart in the corner. And I felt like the yellow hearts that were left in the gaps needed something more. So I took out two of the sentiments that were in this same collection, Couples Goals. And since they're nice and tiny, I put them right there. And I just felt like it was the last little bit of a touch that we needed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it is my first attempt, so not perfect, but I think we can sometimes pull something off if we try hard enough. Have a great night.